it's Monday and we've got a good week ahead of us this week, but lots going on. We are jumping into a few final stage interviews um, with some of the managers who are shortlisting some new roles, um, which is exciting. So I'm looking forward to getting to see those and give my input and, and what I think. Um, we are meeting some contractors that we're looking to appoint for the mezzanine. Uh, we are out on the road visiting a new potential packaging factory partner. Um, and we are working, as always, on improving our products, improving our lead times and our pricing with the product team. We've got a busy week. That's what we're doing. And have you all have you checked all the other all of his other? In case I haven't gone through everything yeah. now. I went through when I looked at doing it. <laughs> you only just noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. I said to Sam earlier, I was like, maybe you should try like getting some more like unplanned. We might get some more raw stuff. <laughs> you want raw and then stuff. I looked around and I was like, shit, he's taking it literally. Yeah. We're in. Raw. We're on. Totally branded raw. Not Everything's going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Um, <laughs> so, in a nutshell, uh, is okay, it so likely the, to happen again? Th these have new prices. These ones are now correct. Right, I've just written a pricing comparison. Yeah. And we beat them everywhere, I believe. Yes, some good news. So, We're competitively priced. Yeah. And that's what the customers want. Two things that the customers will never not want, Sam. And they are, Phil, do you know what they are? You. No, no, they definitely will not want me. They will never stop wanting cheaper prices and faster delivery. Did you watch Jeff Bezos say that? No, but I read it. By Jeff Bezos? By someone writing about Jeff Bezos and I've just stolen it. I saw that earlier today. That I found out yesterday, there's a Netflix film about him. Is there? Yeah, I don't know what it's going to be like. <laughs> but yeah. As in like it's so, out now? Not, my, not original from me, but... Stolen from Jeff Bezos. Stolen. Always steal great ideas. Where did you learn that? Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're optimising for faster delivery, cheaper prices because if I think about us as well it's very true though. that's all right there's two things we would never stop wanting Mitch mm -hmm. two things as a customer you would never st not want what are they two things as a customer you'd never not want fast service he's just heard me through the wall he's heard I haven't I've been walking up. fast service and <clears throat> a human <laughs> Ooh. No, I don't like humans. People are complicated. <laughs> no, it depends not which way you look at it though, because it depends. It, because some customers want a human, some customers won't want a human. They want to do it digitally. Yeah. The correct so, answer is cheaper pricing. But Mitch took yeah. it one step further, which I agree. We said fast delivery. He said fast service. So technically yes. it could be delivery of response as well. Yeah. Mm. Everybody wants things quick. Even if you don't want it quick, you want your design quick. Yeah. You want your tracking quick. Yeah. You want your email responses quick. You want your phone answered quick. I want the train to arrive quick. Yeah, exactly. I want my dinner cooked quick. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> that's what that's what um, Jeff Bezos was saying. I think he said, "I thought about what would the company need in ten years from now." Yeah. And what would other people want? Like, what would customers always want in ten years from now? Mm. And it was faster delivery and cheaper prices, or yeah. cheap prices. Yeah. And that's not going to change. And that's yeah, that will never change. No. Whether you speak to a human or not, will change. Mm. So. So that's why we're here now. Optimizing for we are optimizing our tote bag offering now, and we're making sure that we're offering very competitive prices. In fact the most competitive prices, dare we say that, and we are 
pressuring our internal facility and our external facility to make sure they are bloody fast because that's what our customers want. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Good, Holly. Uh, I've got saw grasses updating. I've got the, still trying to wait for the queue to restart. So. Shit. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. It's now been restarted for the last 15 minutes, so. I need a new NVM. Does it cause you a lot of grief, that? Uh, usually not, but obviously it's had to do a system update this morning. Mm. So I've had to restart it and now I've got to wait around for it to pull myself back Oh, well, if it gets worse, let me know, yeah? Because yeah. if it's slowing you down every day, it, it's worth the investment of getting a new one, do you know yeah. what I mean? It's not worth the grief. Cut myself, so. I was trying to be clever at the weekend and do some guillotining of some visual control posters. And the guillotine is broken, and I went like that, sliced my whole finger. So, thank God for the first aid kit. We're very health and safety conscious. There we go. Right, now I'm late to a meeting. And someone else. Yeah, so all those done. Um, oh, that's brilliant, man. That'll be a big help, so it should cover yeah. the so majority of that. start to split that apart. Yeah. yeah. So, what that's basically going to allow us to do is in the profit and loss every month, start to analyse, okay, what you'll move all the clothing into one section and it'll show us what margin we're making on that and then it'll put in a different nominal code obviously you've already done embroidery mm -hmm. in our transfer and we can see for each sub department where is holding us back and where, where is profitable where is not profitable yeah. whereas at the moment it's all just been lumped into all sorts so now if we're splitting that out very specifically we can truly see what our total gross margin on clothing is total gross margin on debossing is blah, 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 blah. So that was the last bit of the puzzle because you've done most of it. I was going to say, there's a couple of others that I know that there were some emails that went around from the accounts. Oh, yeah. Guys. Yeah. I don't know if I haven't changed those personally. Um, do you want to forward them to me because I haven't I seen can, them? I can look at them. And then if, if it might be, we do need to do something with it. But mate, if you want to forward it to me first, yeah. and we can have a look at that together. Sure. But yeah, that's great that that's done. That will really start to help with the PL and starting to understand yeah. what's, what, what departments are holding us back. Um, so that's really good. It's Tuesday and it's been a really productive start to the day this morning. I got a nice early start, got in here for about seven and uh, just head down, podcast on in the background and just smash through my to-do list. I don't usually work with to-do lists, I usually schedule everything. Um, but last night got home and I just had so much in my head of just different tiny little things, things I needed to chase up, emails, paperwork, things people wanted of me and things people I'd, I'd, I'd committed in the day, oh, I'll do this, I'll do that. Um, and I sort of had this bit of overwhelm. So just laying there last night before I turned over to go to bed, I just brain dumped everything, came in early doors this morning and just smashed the hell out of it. Um, so feel pretty good now, pushed a lot of stuff forward. Um, a few unexpected turbulences this morning which I've had to deal with, um, some operational th issues, um, push forward. What we're looking at doing over the road at production is installing a, a new mezzanine floor to add a second layer above the warehouse, um, which will obviously hopefully gain a lot more efficiency because what it means is we can bring all of our stock that's currently out in containers um, inside and get it all wrapped and systemized and then have a system where stock is pushed upwards um, to where we sort of lift all of the embroidery, engraving, debossing, all of those departments up um, and it's fed fed through like that. So it'll be a win-win because it will cut our container hiring cost each month, but it'll also mean that efficiency should be majorly gained um, and, our, and our sort of stock organization and, and stock locations should improve. So um, I bid, we, fought, we went out to, for a bit of a tender process and we've, um, we've put that out now and Cody's collated a lot of results. So I've kind of shortlisted that down this morning and invited um, a couple of vendors into site visit to finally um, just firm up some details before we, we sort of award that to somebody and get going with it. But I'm looking forward to that project kicking off and commencing. 
Um, so that should be good. And now I'm about to go into a meeting where we are getting some outside advice um, on our new strategic sort of business development team that we want to create. So that was how I kind of got into the world of print and promo and everything. I was a, I was a BDM, sort of very much cold going out bringing on business, growing existing accounts, that sort of thing. Um, and we've been a very much reactive for our online presence. And now what we're really trying to do is working with some incredible brands, um, but we're not um, sort of, we're, we're very much sometimes a one trick order. We get one order, two orders maximum, and then it kind of dries up. Um, and I just think that's because we're not going in and growing those relationships. And a lot of our customers we speak to, they don't realize like they'll come through to us for branded polo shirts. They don't know that also we can do branded mugs and pens and tote bags and pop-up stands and all that sort of stuff. And so it's trying to make people understand of our full offering. Um, and so that's what we're up to. We're gonna go into that meeting, brainstorm that with head of sales and a, a, an advisor that we're bringing in who's got quite a lot of experience in that respect, see where we go with it and make some farmed up decisions. Um, and that's what we're doing, so we'll catch you a bit later and see what the rest of the day entails. So, busy morning. Um, had a quite a productive morning planning the new business development um, team role that we want to create. Uh, and now we are out on the road with Sam the man and Phil to visit one of our packaging partners who uh, currently work with us to do all of our totally branded, branded packaging. And we get an increasing demand from our customers for branded packaging to go along with the merchandise. So to put your pens, your mugs and that for onboarding packs and you know mailing out the merchandise um, in a more sexy way. And so we are going to meet our partners to see if we can do anything um, to introduce their product lines into our range so that we can facilitate the needs of our customers. And so main man Phil is here because he is in charge of all things product. I'm here because I'm the driver and Sam's here because we need to document this, don't we Sam? Yes. So that's what we're doing. Not Let's go. Easier, so. yeah. um, but, but no, as I said, Thompson's, if you, you just give me a bit of background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's family run firm, okay. a bit like yourself. It's yeah, run yeah. by a couple of brothers called Beck and Martin Thompson. Okay. This actual company was started off in 1994, I think. Wow. Um, and we started off in basically just this an initial unit in here. Wow. And over the years, it's kind of grown into you know the, the big place that we've got up. Yeah, across yeah, the way. incredible. Yeah, it's, a, it's amazing. Up, right? We were pretty blown away when we yeah. arrived. It's yeah, it's incredible. We're the it's only independent um, box maker left in Norfolk now. Are um, you really? Yeah, I mean, there's there's some of the big nationals kind sure. of still, but we're the only sort of independent family-run type wow. of firm. But uh, but no, I mean, effectively, we're not. A merchant like a kite packaging is, yes. is that what, what kite do is they're very slick operation. They yeah, want yeah. you to order online, and yes. they're good for stock boxes and you buy yes, your standard out of the box stuff, yeah, yeah. And everything else like that. Sure, uh, but uh, they're, they're not manufacturers, which mm. is what we do. Everything we make is bespoke, so we okay. don't kind of hold stock boxes yes. or anything. Yeah, like yeah, that. it's made to what the customer needs. It's all it's all made to yeah. whatever the customer yeah, yeah, needs, it's and. You, we can put any sort of brand. Is your box there? Um, yeah, there's <laughs> ours. There. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Um, but we we work with any the, the range of bit like you you you. Yeah. The, the what I love about our trade is that you're dealing with anybody from making so, shoes yeah. to widgets to wine to yeah. beer to rat killer any yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah you Literally. you name it and and yeah. every day is different and yeah. that's what makes it such a keeps great, it I keeps mean I've been I, yeah I've been in this trade what. Well, 25 years showing my age now <laughs> <laughs> but but I love it because it, it's 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 not so much the 
it, it's not so much the cardboard boxes; it's what goes in it that's interesting. Mm. And, and that a bit journey. like doing that, every it's 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 basically people's marketing, mm. and it's so it's important huge. to yeah. you know everything needs a box. Yeah. Effectively, yeah, if you yeah. can kind of trying to upsell it. Oh yeah, do something like that. And it and what you do really can make an impact for for businesses and brands. And you know, we were talking yeah. about on the way up. I said like the the buzz you get, like when I walk down and see all our boxes piled up now compared to just your standard craft brown with no sort yeah. of no branding those now and just and I've been into some of our customers offices and you see a couple of our boxes lingering in the corner it just gives you like a bit of a buzz yeah um, it's a bit of a weird it's a bit, bit weird a bit sad but it is it's just the way it goes and I yeah. think it's so powerful that yes, sir. it's Wednesday and popped over early doors um, it's a bit early for Sammy looks a little bit sleepy this morning um, but we're up early um, just checking in with production I've got a meeting now with a um, mezzanine fit out provider who we've sort of shortlisted as one of the final few that we want to talk to in regards to our mezzanine extension so we just popped over just waiting for that chap to turn up have a chat and get that under mo underway uh, just checking in on the sort of um, customer's own room um, for some of the key stuff that we don't want to hold out in the sort of warehouse and that sort of stuff so a little bit more protection for it a little bit more nicer environment um, and John's been made some good progress in here but fair bit more to sort um, and then up the back there we can get all of that excess clothing where we buy two or three percent overs on all these jobs and get it all good organized on our stock system so hopefully we can start reutilizing it rather than it just being pushed up the back there and wasted um, it's very frustrating um, when that happens but yeah so I think we've got some more racking coming today guys will get that built and uh, yeah keep pushing on Let's go and have this meeting about mezzanine floors. Is this going to be alright for you with these stairs, do you think? Because I was thinking you should bring it up to this point and then going back. Um, yes and no. So with mezzanines, obviously, what do you think about putting this for building the Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to need to do? Like, storage ball again? Literally everything Just you storage. see. So down to this is my storage, upstairs. Yeah, so so these, these, yeah, these three machines, basically everything you see there will be lifted up. So that all the racking and the stock will be yeah. underneath it. But the employees will be up there, the employees will be up there. Okay, so you've got more fire rates in there. Alright, and then the. Let's see. Um, what was the board? What board is it? So it'll be a fire rate team. Do you guys do um, warehouse racking? Yeah, because uh, obviously we've, better, yeah. we've only ever done. Rapid racking jobby, that's basic it. stuff. Yeah. But obviously now we want to start bring we've got seven twenty foots worth, we want to bring that in. Yeah. And and rack it would you know, ideally we want to start moving into pallet quantities. Obviously I'm pretty sure we're not gonna get the height. So you've got everything geared up for Barbara? Yes, although I've got I'm still doing stuff and I've still got to um, sort out training plan because obviously she needs onboarding and it can't be rushed. When it goes mental, it's gonna be brilliant. At the moment, Mickey and Ella and Christine are probably equally as busy. Yeah. So I think we, we need to schedule a, a generic day is right you do yeah doing 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 and the default diary goes out the window if somebody's off or yeah. some of the wheels are falling off in a department. Um things like picking up certain things like might be that she can help with the forms. Yeah. Or might be that any new supply yeah, forms done. Got more production updates because obviously yeah. there, there's a lot and of them not being. One of the things I thought so would be, be good to one of the things like um I think is really important is um customer satisfaction call. Yeah. So um, calling a percentage of all the cut, all the orders delivered that day, mm -hmm. just saying is everything okay for you? Yeah. And I think that would be yeah, a game changer. But there's little yeah. things like that, and then we can get feedback on. Oh, actually no, this wasn't doing it. And then start to see that, that in the reviews as well. Yeah, then, exactly. So that's one thing. But because um, there's going to be days where it's absolutely necessary that she's there. Um, yeah. But what I don't want it to be is. Oh Bob, can you do me a favour? Can you just call that supply and check that delivery for me? And then she's like the assistant, assistant, yeah. um, and then she's just picking up bits and pieces we need it to be making a Quite monumental a difference. Day, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, she's going to be sitting there waiting to be told. What yeah, to you do need to see the return on her on the day. Yeah. when there's not exactly. anything. So right. she comes in and she goes, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do some. I do some catch ups. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And, do. and I think there's but. That can follow later on down the line. Let's just get her on board. It get her yeah. doing the job yeah, whenever. Get her in a position about to cover yeah. that role, yeah. and then when we get back, we can retake. We can take stock on where yeah. she goes and what fills yeah. out because she'll have got her feet under the table. Mm -hmm. And I need to set her up a stream deck so that she's got bits and pieces on it. Loop. But basically, for the last five days, four days, excluding today, we have averaged at fifty orders a day processed, which means we're seven away from where we yeah. where we need to be, right. which means. 
we we should be able to go further than that seven yeah. if we can we sort things out. Yeah, so sure. and that goes for the studio as well because yeah. obviously they're in a good place. Yeah. And we're doing decent numbers every day, every yeah. single day at the moment. Um, and we're getting decent numbers from clients. Yeah, it feels so. like we are really close, and yeah, it? it's, it's almost like you want to turn a screw quarter of the way more. Just tight a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. One, one quarter of the way more, and then we're in. So I just need to. That's why in my brain is to you know other than consultants, ignore yeah. them for now because they're doing what they should be. And that desk turning and including Phil is turning it one quarter of the way more so yeah. that when that influx comes in from the work you're doing, we're, we're like, yeah, no problem, it's yeah. walking the park. Because at the moment, if we were doing this level of inquiries, orders, and revenue a year ago, yeah. we would have been pulling our absolute hair out. Yeah, we're doing it comfortably. Yeah, it's easy to forget. Yeah, that. we're doing it comfortably. No one's at my door stressing out, yeah. we're comfortable. So if we can do that, let's just get that a little bit further, yeah. and then we're in a good place. So that, I think, basically, the main focus of everything for you is obviously web, yeah. bringing everything in, and then for me is receiving that yeah. and getting the infrastructure in place, which I think we're, we're not far away from doing. Hence why studio response times increasing, the yeah. the conversion rate is mainly at fifty percent, which it has done every month that hasn't yeah. fluctuated. Um, the after sales are now obviously they're doing the extra stuff in the morning. I'm auditing that. We're getting more reviews because they're striking while they're on top. Yeah, I think your thing is speed yeah. and quality. Yeah. Exactly. So like the quality of the service yeah. in user utilizing people mm. where we can do yeah. after sales calls, yeah. check ins, and the speed, like you say, which will come from the efficiency. Mm. But if, if if response times are the quickest they've ever been, visual times are the quickest they've ever been, people just but all love things that. Have, things have changed. We're wrapping up another week. It's been a pretty good week, actually. I feel, I think this might be a few weeks on the trot where I'm actually feeling pretty optimistic. Um, has been a bit of a tiresome week this week because next week I'm actually going on holiday. Um, a well, well, I think it's well-deserved. A well-deserved break after 10 months of really really trying to sort of slug our guts out a little bit we've had some cash flow turbulences we've had some profitability turbulences um, we're coming out the other side of that uh, and i feel like we're so much stronger as a team as a business we're more efficient um, we've got our eye on what really truly matters um, and i'm actually so glad we've gone through that because i feel like it's matured us greatly and so i'm now I've got uh, eight to, it works out about 10 10 days um, away going abroad and gonna actually have a real nice refresh and, and restart I've kind of planned out I've got my sort of 90 day plan frame updated so I've just finished that off refreshed it with where we're going to be by mid-July which 90 days from now I've got those goals those aims of where we need to push forward and all the key very specific measurable objectives that I want to move us forward on and I've now got that time to really go away sit reflect think and just deep deeper plan and deeper sort of visualize how that's going to look and what i need to do to push it forward i love actually getting away and almost being on that sort of sun lounger because some of my best ideas come to me and it puts a lot into perspective and i come back and i'm even more fired and ready and it gives me a, another sort of eight to ten months of real vigor and energy ready to come back and move at even greater pace um, and with even more energy effort and enthusiasm so i'm really excited about that had actually a really good week a lot moving forward um, a fair bit of capex that we had planned for is now starting to need to be you know signed off and go ahead so we've been looking at the mares we've got a you know a couple of bits of equipment that we're chopping out and upgrading for better equipment so we can create we can be more efficient more fast and deliver a better quality product for our customers um, so we've been looking at things like that so all in all I'm, I'm really pleased we've signed off a lot of investment on for phase two development of our website for our e-com store for the customers to make that whole online experience even better um, and we're spending a lot of our mental energy on just improve, improve, improve every day. Um, and I feel like for the first time in a, in a while, we really feel like we're moving the needle and everybody's moving at the same pace and we're not carrying certain people. I feel like we are for the first time really quite aligned you know, across the business in, in where we're going and what we're trying to achieve. Um, and that excites me and I feel really good and I feel really 
proud for the fact that I'm going to have that break, that time, and I know that the team have, have got things covered um, and they're going to keep pushing things forward. And then, you know, when I get back, some of the other team members are going away and having a bit of a break. And I like that. I like that some people are going to have a bit of a refresh and then we're going to go again. So I'm excited. All in all, pretty positive. But it does mean that we're going to struggle to do a vlog um, for a couple of weeks because it's not going to be much for me to, talk, to vlog and document because I'm hopefully going to be not doing a lot and having a bit of a rest, recharge and rethink on things. Uh, and then when we come back, hopefully we can up our game on the vlogs even more. So what we're going to try and do is bring you one or two for the two weeks that I'm not here. We're going to try and bring you one or two uh, of very similar styles to last week um, of this sort of lessons and a little bit more informative content that some of you prefer and some of you don't. Um, but I'd be really interested to hear in the comments what sort of what you would prefer to see. Um, we're planning to, I don't leave till late, till sort of mid of next week. So me and Sam are hoping to shoot some uh, content and some things that you guys wanna hear about and wanna see on, on the early part of this coming week. So when, you're, when you guys are seeing this, it'll be over this coming weekend. So if anybody has got anything they would love to, you know, sort of more documented style learnings or content or lessons and things that you know about us rather than the vlog because there won't be much to share if you drop it in the comments we'd love to hear your suggestions because it might be something we haven't thought of that you guys want to want to see but yeah like, last week i said about liking and commenting and it was the most engagement and the most likes i think we've ever received on one of our videos um and so, I mean, you don't ask, you don't get. So if you are enjoying it, it's just more of a, it's a bit more of an ego thing for us just to know that it's worth all the time and effort and energy of putting this out every week. Um, you know, Sam works on this full time all week. Um, and obviously it's quite a big irresponsibility for me to, to, to be stopping in between meetings and during meetings and making sure we're capturing this and documenting it. So please, if you're enjoying it, drop a like and a comment on what you'd like to see more of. Thank you. See you in a couple of weeks.